I like to write poetry, but I suppose I don't always like admitting that. I don't like the idea of being taken too seriously, and sometimes you write poems about serious things. But I like it because it's so contracted an art form. It's kind of like the lazy man's creative writing in a way. But it's also the art of brevity, containing complex thoughts or snapshots in time that reveal their own narratives to the reader. That said, I'm also a fan of the short story when I can find the time. I've never attempted anything like a novel, and I admire the dedication of anyone who has. I think we all get inspiration from whatever's around us. So the secret is to surround myself with creative people, interesting things, good movies, good books. At the moment I'm reading a couple of books. Uh, this weighty tome, The Great War by Les Carlyon, which I'm maybe a third of the way through. On the lighter side of things, there's Robert Gray Selected Poems. So I'm not doing too badly with that. But as I say, we surround ourselves with things and try and draw inspiration from them. So if I'm travelling to work on the train and I see a guy in a business shoot with a little tiny green bug on his shoulder, then, you know, you can find inspiration in the most mundane or the smallest of things. And that's what's great about creative writing. My writing process begins with, I suppose, scrapbook style scrawls or things on the backs of envelopes. I keep a big collection of these and sometimes they meld themselves into poems or stories. I like writing exercises and that's why Vibewire is so important. The themes and the comps are really great. You've just got to keep writing. Don't wait for the right mood, the right lighting or the right planetary alignment. Just do it. Well, three challenges for me are these. First, how to pursue creative writing once we're out in the big bad world. How do we fit our creative pursuits around our full-time jobs? especially if both involve sitting in front of a computer. Challenge number two is letting go. If we want our writing to be current, newsworthy, fresh and interesting, we've got to learn to let go. Proofread it, sure, but hurry up and press that send button. That's something I struggle with sometimes. Third challenge is one, I suppose, of shyness. How do you get your writing out there without asking people to actually read it or even critique it? We risk ridicule, awkward questions from our mums. These are big challenges, my friend. Maybe you face them too. As for the future, things are looking rosy. I've had major success with my first published work. Most of you will have read My Naughty's Fashion Companion, Throw Out Your Jean Shorts. That's a good one. I've also been recently asked to ghostwrite the new concise Macquarie Dictionary. Uh, and I've, I, I think we can make it conciser. Um, so I've sort of come up with just a few favourites um, to throw in there. So what does that what does that say in sum? Basically, ask not where your writing will take you. Ask yourself, where will you take your writing?